What's happening guys, it's Shane here. Today I have the story of Fabian who went from a factory worker to a very high paying remote digital marketing job. So go ahead, gently tap that like button and let's jump right into this one. Fabian, thank you so much for coming on the channel and sharing your story with us. Um, you're about five years or so into your career. So I think this is gonna be great perspective for people to kind of see what they can expect like four, five, six years down the line if they do decide to go into digital marketing. So I really appreciate you, uh, you know, taking your lunch break to, to do this interview really quickly and coming on uh, the channel. Thank you so much. Hey Shane, yeah, I appreciate it, man. Thank you for having me on the channel. Like, is it really exciting to just be talking about, you know, digital marketing and like, you know, where we are now and like how we're going and, and it's, it's a pleasure, man. Awesome. So can you just give me a little bit of a, a background on yourself before you discovered digital marketing, kind of a background on your education as well as your career history and all that sort of thing uh, up to the point where you discovered digital marketing? Yeah, man. Uh, so I graduated back in 2009, so I'm, I'm almost 30 years old now. I am 30 years old, now, actually. Uh, and yeah, so I graduated, went to college, and you know, was trying to get my four-year degree through a community college first, and transferring over. Uh, and I was in a business major, you know, and I was very, um, very eager to to start my career. Um, and as I was going. Uh, Back uh, back in 2009 to 2014, I was working multiple jobs. I was trying to learn as much as I can. And I started in uh, working for a t-shirt uh, manufacturing company. You know, we would make t-shirts, we would build them, we'd use them from like any like I don't know, man, Society6 was one one client, you know, just different random clients that we have. We have our own print shop, print there. So I was working there um, for about three or four years. Uh, during that time, I, I was listening to a lot of um, inspirational podcasts, books, as much as I could get in my hands on it and just learn. Uh, I really wanted to learn and just better myself and just learn as much as possible. So I started like listening to podcasts like Johnny Dumas, Pat Flynn, you know, Entrepreneurs on Fire, like Passive Income, and just trying to learn from those guys. Uh, and I did that while I was working at a print shop. So you can imagine myself just working from like 9 p.m. to 6 in the morning, you know, sweatshop vibes, just printing t-shirts, listening to podcasts, and trying to just like improve um mm -hmm. and yeah man so like i started there and um i was just uh, trying to start like you know an e-commerce brand a website uh, build from there uh it was it was crazy man like i just that experience alone was was definitely life-changing because i was doing that while i was working and then i tried to start a website back in the day uh, and I started my own e-commerce brand. You know, I had like this little website. I called it Motivation Daily, inspirational quotes, inspirational t-shirts, and just printing those t-shirts. And little did people know I was actually working at a print shop trying to start an e-commerce brand and, and build from there, right? Um, but I didn't know marketing. So that was the craziest thing. Like I didn't know digital marketing and I wanted to learn it. And I figured, you know, if I learn digital marketing, I can expand and I can grow. Uh, so I, I literally searched on YouTube back in... Uh, it was 2000, like 17 or 16. I was like, how to make, how to make a, 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 I don't know, like a six figure or, or how to make a, or how to land a good job without a four year degree is essentially what I searched, right? And I was like uh, trying to find that. And then I found uh, this, this interview with, uh, with Seth and Engineer Truth. And they were just talking about digital marketing, right? They were talking about like, okay, so uh, let's talk about Google ads. Let's talk about, you know, what you can do in the field and all that kind of stuff. So I was starting to search there and I figured them out and I was like, okay, I need to take this course. I need to figure this out. I need to like research and try to do my best to try to like learn as much as I can Google ads at the time. And um, yeah, man, that's long story short, that's how it started. Right. Got it. Um, Got it. That's an awesome story. And uh, so after you discovered um, Seth's course, you discovered digital marketing and Seth's course, how long did it take you to decide to actually invest in the course, actually buy it and try it out? Yeah, good question. Okay, so I think it took me maybe like a few weeks. I was like, at the point where I was just like, you know what, I got to do that. I Because I was skeptical at first, right? Because I was like, more of like, a, am not sure if this is real. Um, you know, I'm kind of like a, my mindset was like, you need a four year degree to get a good job. That was my mindset. Right. And then once I started listening to these podcasts about like all these entrepreneurs and how they started and like how they started their jobs, I was like, okay, maybe, maybe this is truthful. So I got to check out all these interviews. So I think I checked like five, 10, like a bunch of these interviews trying to, of these people just like saying like they, they started off really well doing this. It took me two weeks, two or three weeks, I think. Um, and then I decided from that point on. 
I'm going to buy this course. I'm going to give myself like 30 to 60 days to land a job in digital marketing. So if you are interested in digital marketing, but you're not 100% sure what it is, or you want to know a little bit more about it, there's a bunch of different verticals in digital marketing. You've got like pay-per-click, you got Facebook ads, you got social media marketing, SEO, et cetera. If you want to learn what all of that is, Seth does have a free masterclass. You can check it out down below. Uh, it's a few hours. I took it myself and I thought it was very useful. I learned quite a bit from it. So you can check that out. I'll put it in the description and the pinned comment down below. Um, and when I was listening and when I was doing that, I actually did something I wouldn't really recommend to people, but I actually quit my job, took the course and gave myself like a limited amount of time to get a job. And I had an apartment, right? So I was like, trying to do everything at the same time. I was like, okay, I do 60 days. I have enough to survive within the 60 days. And I just like literally spend like eight hours a day learning from the course, getting my certifications, um, doing as much as possible to study. So like I would know these, these terms right off the bat, like right, click through rate, clicks, impression, search, depression, share, you know, Google analytics. Okay. How do I connect Google analytics with Google ads? Like, what can I do to make, to give, to give myself the knowledge? So when I get that interview and I'm applying for a job, they, I could, I just know it like the back of my hand. Like, yeah, this is what I would do. This is how I would do it. You know, this is, these are my experience. So <clears throat> I use that e-commerce brand. I use that website as leverage for my experience. So I would say, okay, I've had this this brand for three years. I have social, I have, um, you know, like all this stuff for Google ads. Like I, I did all this stuff, right? Um, and I would use that as leverage as experience. And then I would try to apply for the job. So I think I applied to five different jobs. I had one, um, one, um, one job that landed as far as like the interview process goes. So I literally got, I remember getting like three or four resumes just to backtrack a little bit. I had three or four resumes and I told myself, I'm gonna go to the highest person that I can possibly talk to back in the day, a director or a VP of these of these marketing agencies, go up to them and say, hey, I just wanted to put a face to a name. Here's my resume. I'm really eager. Is there, just let me know if you, you, know, you guys give me an opportunity to do an interview. And that's what I did. And then one of them actually stuck. I looked for the for this like VP of like marketing for one of these marketing firms. He wasn't there. And I got the director. And when I got the director, the lady, um, she talked to me all, all these questions, all this kind of stuff. I nailed the interview and I got the position that night. Like I, wow. I literally got the the call that that night. It was like uh, they told me like, hey, we really like your experience. You know, we really think you would be a great fit. You know, we're really, it's really awesome that you came in and you just wanted an interview and you just you showed initiative and all this kind of stuff. And then she just like hired me right off the bat. And then a month from when I applied is when I started the position. So I think it was like July, 2016 or 17, I think right after um, Labor Day. Oh no, right after 4th of July, sorry. Wow. So, um, so when, so yeah. you basically went through the course, like you had a, you had a 60 day sort of like uh takeoff period right you like like if you're trying to take the you're trying to fly the plane and, you, and you've got 60 days to get it off the ground basically right and you know and then past that that, that wouldn't be good and then it, it took you approximately one month or so when you when you really uh tried to get that first job offer basically is that yeah is that exactly okay. yeah so like i quit my job and then i gave myself a limited amount of time i would like schedule my days i'd say okay I got to finish this module by this time. I got to, I got to, you know, apply here. I got to do this. I got to get the, the certifications by this time. So I literally planned it all out. Like I was like a type A person, like, okay, scheduling this, mm -hmm. is, this is how much time I have. And I would take like, maybe I use like the Pomodoro method. I was like, okay. And I have yeah. like five minutes to, to go take a quick walk, come back, study in the focus. So I did that. And I was able to finish the course in 30 days. Um, I also took a Udemy course to learn more. And then I got my certifications I applied for the job and then the first job I applied to, I landed that night. So that is, I, that is freaking awesome. Wow. That is so awesome. Um, how was the course just in general? Like, how did you enjoy it? How, how useful was it? Yeah, man, back in 2017, what I really enjoyed about it, to be honest, when I got, when I was applying, when I was learning through it was how easy to understand it was. And then the, the my favorite part was the application of it. Like, this is what you want to do. This is a spreadsheet you want to start. This is how you want to do your resume. Back in the day, you know, before like the whole like website as your portfolio thing came, came to about, um, I kind of like used all the, the things that Seth did as far as like how to land the job, which is the most important thing, right? And I kind of like wanted to um, 
to utilize that as much as possible. Um, and simultaneously, you know, like I really enjoyed like how the in, how in depth it was. Like we went to the platform, we talked about it, you know. Um, and at the time too, I think he also recommended a different course in Udemy. Um, I forgot the guy's name. He had an agency um, back in the day too, um, and it took his course simultaneously while it took Seth's course, and I just learned as much as possible. But I think the application of like how to land a job is the most useful for me. Um, and, you know, and simultaneously, you know, learning about clicks, impressions and all that kind of stuff is important. So. Got it. Yeah. Um, you know, that that's the thing that almost every other course lacks, actually, <laughs> is, is the whole how to land a job thing, which is kind of important, right? Like there's a lot yeah. of courses out there that are like, oh, I'll teach you pay-per-click. Oh, I'll teach you Facebook ads. I'll teach you this. But it doesn't really teach you the whole landing a job part, which is, you know, in my experience, that's where you learn like 70, 80 percent of everything you need to know is on the job, right? So yeah, that's that's pretty important. Of course, there's like boot camps that'll teach you that, but they're fifteen thousand dollars. So that's <laughs> out of most people's price range. So that first entry level job, if you're comfortable, can you share what the salary is like? And if you're not comfortable, you can just kind of give a range of what people would expect. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So let me let me backtrack. I was making fourteen dollars an hour at the sweatshop, and that's two thousand fourteen. I went from 14 to 21 from the first position. And then I went up from there. So I even, I left the first marketing position after three years at like 65 K back in 2017. And then now I make way more. Like now it's just like night and day. Like I don't even have to worry. Now I have like experience. I'm using that as leverage. Like I'm a senior paid manager. Like I get bonuses. Like I 65 is like, I don't that was, that was like back in the day now. Um, but yeah, man, imagine barely making above minimum wage taking sets course i think it was back in the day was three or four hundred dollars um and i took it and i went from getting out of a sweatshop doing community college working nights i also worked at little caesar at the time i think for a short period just to get enough money to to pay for some of this stuff because i also had an apartment mm -hmm. um yeah man it was it was crazy bro like i mean 30k to 60k to what i make now is crazy so you were skeptical about the course, which I always say is a good thing. Like everybody should be skeptical. There's a lot of claims out there on the internet. Um, Seth has overwhelming amount of evidence that it works. You know, at this point, he's got like the LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube channel, Instagram, uh, between all four of those probably has thousands of reviews and, and testimonials at this point. So, I mean, there's pretty much just overwhelming evidence that it works. And, um, but I, I, I totally get it. Like to, to be skeptical, I, I would just, you know, urge everyone, you know, I've got a playlist on my channel go check out the playlist. Got lots of other videos of, of people, um, that have had a phenomenal success, uh, with Seth's course. Um, but what would you say to somebody who is kind of on the fence about digital marketing in general, or maybe, uh, Seth's course specifically? Yeah. It's kind of like a motivational thing or like kind of like a boost to tell them like that it's possible i think half of it is believing in yourself and half of it is like believing that you can do it because if you think about it um okay say for example you start on google right and you want to learn google google ads um google is like a multi-billion dollar company that makes money actual money from just google ads and mm -hmm. the people that use google ads and the search volume that's there is tremendous that means like there's going to always be opportunity for these multi like mid cap companies or small cap companies mm -hmm. to really like, you know, make profit off of this as simultaneously having Google make profit. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you just think about the, the sheer volume of what's going on in digital marketing is tremendous. E-commerce is conquering tons of like brick and mortar stores. Right. Yeah. And if you think about, you know, pure imports, if you think about like how they went from like brick and mortar stores to only a website. Now, if you think about Amazon and how much money it's making, like, it's, it's insane. Um, and I think that we are at a stage where web, I think it's 2.0, right? That is, is, is currently web 2.0, is at the, the, the cusp of, of its, of its um, I don't know if I, the wild, wild west is a, is a, is a great like, uh, word for it, but you know, like how in the beginning, nobody knew web. Everybody was barely learning web. Email was like, what is email like you know all this kind of stuff in the 90s all this stuff and then every everybody's now like honestly being born in the two, 2000s knowing what digital is and mm -hmm. you know growing in that 
I definitely think that there's a lot of opportunity. I would just say like, believe in yourself, um, take the course and figure out like what you can do to, to get your foot in the door. Half of it is, um, believing half of in yourself, half of it is doing it. And the rest is just like, you know, just going for it. You know what I mean? I feel like a lot of people get stuck in like this position where they just learn it and do anything about it. Right. Um, Absolutely. If you think, yeah, if you think like you don't have have experience, like that doesn't matter. It really doesn't just, just get your, your foot in the door, get, get an intern position, learn from these people, you know, because that's the majority of your book that's going to happen there anyways, because uh, you can learn only so much through the course. But after you take that course and after you learn your like foothold, after you, you know, you build those foundational steps, then you can grow from there, right? Because after that, it's, it's about you. It's about your hunger. It's about you wanting to learn more. It's about you wanting to stay up to date. You wanted to like, you know, help um, other people achieve their goals and, you know, also be a part of a good company that's going to give you that, you know, that salary that you want and that living, uh, living wage that you want. So yeah, just half of it is believing in yourself and, and you know, knowing that it's possible. So one thing I forgot to ask, and this is actually really important, um, probably even more important than salary, is uh, work-life balance. How do you enjoy your job and your work-life balance now versus before when you were working in in what you called the, the sweatshop? Yeah. Oh, that's a really good question, man. Because like the life and balance is night and day, literally night and day. Like I, I working from like 3 p.m. to like, you know, the butt crack of dawn and then just waking up to like the sun rising and you're still working like super tired and just like out of it. And then working from a nice nine to five job, uh, essentially it's just like, it's, it's so good. I mean, and when I did that, that was crazy. Like with that first like uh, transitional period was so amazing. I loved it. And then COVID hit and then we're like a work from home vibe now. Like, it's just, it's crazy. Like I literally am at home, I'm working and I have the luxury of going downstairs. I mean, I tell people I have like the longest commute, right? I have to listen to a, to a song and then I'm downstairs and then I'm like, so I'm just like, like saying that's like, you know, my, my longest commute. Um, but I mean, like, dude, I love it, man. It's, it's, it's the best, um, being able to have like, you know, the luxury of waking up, uh, and just being on meetings and then working from home and then grabbing my laptop, using a hotspot and going outside to a park and work is great. You know, I, I love that kind of stuff. Um, and when I'm in meetings, I'm in my office and I'm just working in the office. So, um, I love it, dude. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try it for the world. I think it's, it's. It's phenomenal. Awesome. So, hey, thank you so much again for coming on and sharing your experience. I think people are going to get a lot out of this, uh, Fabian. So uh, thank you. I think a lot of people are going to be inspired out there. There's probably quite a few people who listen to podcasts while they do their job. And so they can really resonate uh, with your story as well. And, you know, they're just trying to better themselves. They're trying to get into a career um, that is going to you know, pay them well, that's going to have good work-life balance. And it's going to teach them really valuable skills uh, in case later on they want to go and start their own business. So um, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be really inspired by you. So thank you again so much for coming on. Yeah, of course, Shane. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time, man. Thank you.